Hi everyone, welcome. I have a new book I want to do a flip through with everyone. Thoughts and opinions if anyone else is interested in. So this is the unofficial Bridgerton coloring book. This is by Sarah Richard. So this is a book um, based off the Netflix show Bridgerton. It is unofficial, unauthorized, not licensed, approved, or endorsed by Netflix Worldwide Entertainment. So it's not um, sponsored or anything like that. It is just based off that. So it says $14.99 US on the back. I paid around 11 bucks for mine at Walmart in store. I did not look and see if it was available on Amazon or not. I can check into it and if I find a link, I will post it below. Um, but I found mine in store at my local Walmart in the section with books and novels and things. Um, it is very thin paper, feels like copy paper. You can see where their ink shines through on the other side. Here is the cover, a little bit grayscale. Um, Adams Media gives you an address, copyright 2021, all rights reserved, um, things like that. Introduction, add color to your life. Welcome to the unofficial Bridgerton coloring book. And then we hop in. Um, so they are, like I said, a little bit thinner. They are single-sided if you would like to use markers. They are not perforated though, but you could probably cut them out if that is something you are interested in. I have not actually watched Bridgerton, but I think it would still be a fairly fun book to try to do. You'll see they kind of don't have faces, they don't have eyeballs, they all just have noses. Um, I can't decide if I'm going to color it and kind of leave it like that or if I'm going to try to add an eyeball in. We shall see when I get that far. Um, I kind of wanted to do a flip first, see if anyone else had it, how their experience was, things like that. A beautiful tea set. Truffles. See, like this page. It's a very neat page, but I think just not having them eyeballs feels weird to me. Um, but I think I can make it work. Picture of a beautiful desk. I really like the theme of this book, even though I've never seen the show. I really like these old fashion type themes. Beautiful water fountain. They are fairly detailed. This one would be fun to do with the mirrors. A little poodle. And this one, I think they kind of look like mannequins when they don't have their full face on. So even maybe if I just added another little eyebrow like this one to the other side or something, I think it'll be fixable. might have to look into a little bit of Bridgerton just to see what the theme is or what the idea of the stuff kind of going on is but like this one here I think you could color them just about any way obviously they're at a fancy party so I like this one a lot too. It'd be really pretty. Um, probably do this one in pencil. Trying to just. Um, I think this paper, you want to be careful if you use alcohol markers. The paper is so thin and the line work is so thin that when you get close to these edges, your marker is going to bleed out of the lines. So that's just one thing to kind of keep your eye out for. Um, there are a couple things I'd love to tackle. I almost am tempted to draw on the rest of these bricks on this building, even if I don't know in the movie they're really supposed to be bricks. <laughs> but yeah, there were enough pages in here for me to be interested in tackling this book to uh, for $11 to be worth the price to me. Um, also, I am a little bit of an impulse buyer, so that's probably another reason. peacocks here. Another one of the garden. So lots of garden images. Piano room. So you don't have to know a whole lot of 
who anybody is or anything um, to color it. Obviously the color of the flowers aren't going to matter what color they were in the movie. Um, so I don't think it'll be too big a deal to make it my own. I think when they do a lot of crafting or sewing in the show, that's what I'm getting out of this book. <laughs> and see, these mannequins don't have faces at all, whereas the people in the book just have noses. So that's almost not a whole lot of difference there. That might be confusing. Another garden. Giving her a basket. Is the child. Looks like they're dancing over here or something. There's a fan with some gloves. Some food if you are into coloring food. That one's kind of tricky. I don't know what some of that stuff is so it would definitely take me a minute to piece all that together. There they are playing some cards, having a drink it looks like. More garden. She's got a dress laying on the bed. The wallpaper is a lot. I don't know if I could handle that kind of wallpaper. It would just feel so busy. Do a picnic. I love my picnic scenes. They have to be one I try to dive into. Printers, newspaper or something. And that is that. So that is the Bridgerton coloring book from Walmart. I thank you for watching. Questions, comments, leave them down below. I will try to track down a link if I can find one and also leave it below. If you would like to see anything done out of this book or buddy color, also let me know, and I hope to see you next video. Thanks for watching.